Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 21 of our course and today's topic is branch penalty. So let's see what we uh, uh, what we have to learn in this topic. In last lecture, we have learned about a very important concept of pipelining, right? So this is the same diagram that we have seen in the last lecture. So uh, let's consider a program uh, which consists of multiple line. Let's say instruction one, instruction two, instruction three, four, five, and six. So using the concept that we learned in the uh, multi-stage pipelining, we learned that first of all, instruction one is fetched, right? And when this instruction is fetched, we go for the execution on uh, instruction one, right? And meanwhile, when this execution is under process, we can fetch the next instruction, right? So what is going to happen very first, we will fetch the first instruction, fetch one, right? And then we'll execute this first instruction. While this first instruction is executing, this second instruction will be pointed by a program counter and it will be uh, fetched during this first execution process. So in that means when this execution completes, we will have already fetched uh, instruction number two. And when this execution starts, I mean, this next instruction, which is fetch, uh, which is fetch two, uh, will be executing our third instruction can be fetched during this uh, due to this pipelining architecture. This speed up the overall mechanism. But let's consider this third number instruction is a branch instruction, right? For example, it is a go-to instruction or branch instruction or uh, BNZ uh, instruction. So I'm naming all those instructions which can jump from one point to an other point or very far point in the same program. Right. So what is going to happen? Let's say it's ask us to go to go to hundred line. Right. So we go up to hundred line. So this instruction is asking us to go to hundred line, but do, do you, we know that this instruction is fast. So we will be executing it while go to instruction, which is instruction number three is being executed. We will fetch our next instruction, which is four, right? So this fourth instruction is already fetched while this instruction is executed. But when execution number three is finished, we come to know or processor will come to know, okay, we don't need this instruction four. We don't, whatever instruction we have fetched, which is number four, we don't need it anymore because we have to go to line number 100 or instruction number 100. That means this fetching mechanism will fail. And what we have to do, we have to again fetch instruction number 100, right? And then we will execute instruction number 100. And meanwhile, that 100 is executed, we will uh, fetch the next instruction, which is 101. So this is the gap that is creating in the instruction cycles, or this is a penalty. We fetch instruction number four, and then we flush it out and again fetch another instruction. This thing is called in branch penalty. And whenever we have, uh, we have to go through with this branch or unconditional branch or any statement which involves this jumping procedure from one instruction to any other instruction, right? Or which will disturb the normal flow of code, uh, for example, call instruction, which forces us to go to the delay and then we come back. So this is called this, this mechanism or this penalty will be happening. This is called branch penalty. Let's notice this branch penalty in pick 18 f 452 example. Okay. I have created an example program for you. So let's learn what this co code says. So very first thing that we are understanding is clear F. This is the instruction we are doing very first time. So what it does clear file. Uh, it is read, read as clear file and it, uh, keyword is CLRF. So clear file, what it does, it will clear the file uh, which is given in the next mm, level, right? So it will clear the TRIS-C. You know that TRIS-C is a file register and it has eight bits. So every bit of uh, TRIS-C would become zero after using this instruction because we are clearing them. Whenever we use the word clear, clear means zero. And whenever we use word set, set means equal to one. So next instruction is what set f, set the file, right? Which file? Tris b. So tris b would be happening. All the bits of tris b would become equal to set or equal to one. That means tris will be, be we will be provided with one and uh, tris c will be provided with zero. And you know, what is the meaning of sending zero to uh, tris 
that means you want to make that port output so we are sending zeros to trace c that means port c will be treated as output port and we are sending one to port b that means port b uh, sorry we are sending one to trace b that means port b will be treated as input port next thing what we are doing we are saving a value decimal 5 in working register and sending it to 00 hex using this line move wf so these two lines are just uh, sending 00 uh, hex or making 00 hex 00 hex equals to 5 so 5 is stored in the location 00 hex right then we go this is just a label so we will ignore it what we are doing move file to file port b to port c that means whatever the data coming from port b which is input port send it to port c so data will be copy and pasted from port b to port c and then we have instruction call delay call delay it's it's a instruction which calls a subroutine the subroutine name is delay so we will jump to the delay subroutine this is a subroutine which we have written uh, in the previous two or three lectures so i am not writing the same code so but it is the same code so it will produce certain amount of delay right depending upon the number of iterations you have used in that loop right and in the end of the routine you will have written a statement which will force us go back to the call statement or instruction right next to call right then what we are doing we are decrementing file 00 hex which was equal to 5 uh, it will become equal to 4 after this instruction and then we check using conditional statement whether this 00 hex become 0 or not if it is not 0 we will go back to this again level this means this is the area will which will repeat around 5 times because we have used a nested loop here so this is the code what is going to happen five time port b data will be copy and pasted and every consecutive output there will be a delay which will be dictated using this uh, delay subroutine i hope this program is clearly explained now and now let's go to our main thing that we want to see which is branch penalty in this code right so let me raise the stuff which is not needed okay if we implement the uh, pipelining mechanism in this program we know that when this instruction is under execution this will be fetch when this under, uh, instruction goes under execution this will be fetch when this in instruction goes under execution the next instruction would be fetch and when this instruction goes under execution the next instruction will fetch and when we arrive on this call statement this goes under execution this decrement file instruction would be fetch right what will happen when this execution is executed processor will come to know we have to jump to the this delay subroutine that means this decrement file which was fetched is not needed so we will have to flush it out that is called the branch penalty because we are jumping we are branching from one point to another point in the, within the program that means we will have a penalty and this is called branch penalty furthermore if we come back after subroutine we decremented and we reach to this instruction b and z we check whether this has become zero or not suppose it is not zero what we have what will happen uh, while this instruction was under execution the next instruction which is this one will be what will be forcing us uh, to forcing us to go back right so what will happen we will go back so that means we will have again a branch penalty because we have already fetched the next instruction but we will have a branch penalty and this means we will have a branch penalty in case of call in case of conditional branch and furthermore once if we get out of the loop what will happen right let me explain you that uh, first for example we come to this uh, we come out of this loop we have already copy and pasted five times this loop has been executed what will happen we will eventually arrive this uh branch statement or short branch statement what is going to happen uh, we will fetch the next instruction whatever written in the code right whatever the next instruction but uh, again it is a branch so it will force us to go back so we will have to flush it out and we have to come back again so this will be happening number of time in this conditional loop or unconditional uh, branching statement so that means every time we encounter a call statement right like this a uh, conditional branch like this or a branch we can have a branch penalty in case of call and branch or unconditional branches we will have we will always have a branch penalty but un, uh, conditional branch uh, scenario is different for example this vnz it will branch only when it is true so it will branch four time but fifth time when it will be coming out of the loop it will not branch that means conditional branch will take 
one or two cycle mostly it will take two cycle whenever it is true but whenever uh, this condition is not true you will not have any branching mechanism so that means you won't have any penalty so that means one can say that uh, one can say that call statement will always have a penalty branch unconditional branch will have always a penalty but conditional branch is different that it will have only penalty whenever it is true so we unless uh, 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 until it will be becoming true we will have a penalty and when it will fail we will won't have enough penalty so that is the reason uh, you will see that in conditional branches have two cycles mostly but it may take one cycle as well whenever it fails it will take only one cycle i hope this branch penalty concept is clear in your mind because this is very important example uh, and this is very important mechanism because it leads uh, towards uh, the calculation of uh, exact calculation of execution of program right and you must notice that this branch this penalty is due to what due to what reason because we are implementing multi stage pipeline so whenever we are using this multi stage pipeline or pipeline concept in microprocessor we will always have uh, this branch penalties okay that's it from this lecture if you have any confusion please post in comment section thank you so much for listening